So I like to take opportunities every once in a while to take a step back and assess what skincare brands and products I've been recommending the most. Today we're gonna to be talking about the top five K-Beauty skincare brands I recommended. So if you guys want to hear more about that, just keep watching. Now before we get into it, I do wanna remind you guys to hit the like button, it helps me out a ton, as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I upload. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and follow my Instagram? I would highly appreciate it. Now to figure out what brands I recommended the most in 2020, I went by two basic metrics. That is number one, my empties, and number two, my videos. And the first brand that I'm gonna be talking about is not only a sponsor of this video, but is by far the most recommended brand of not only 2020, but also it might be one of the most recommended brands on my channel's history, and that is Belief. Now the idea behind Belief products is belief in truth, and they are time-tested apothecary style herbal skincare, so you'll see a lot of ingredients in these that are common among their different products throughout their line. So Belief is now available at not only Sephora and Ulta, but also on their e-commerce website, so they're very highly accessible, and the reason I recommend Belief so much is because this is genuinely one of those universal skincare brands that I find works for a lot of different skin types. How do I know that? Because I've personally seen it, witnessed it, and tried it. When I talk about belief, I reference my boyfriend and I because we have very, very different skin types. He has acne prone, sensitive, oily skin, while I have dry, sensitive skin. And I have to say, Belief is one of those brands, no matter what product I'm using from them, I can not only use it on my skin and have it work well, but it works well on his skin. Now the product that I recommended the most and that I find myself gifting to friends and family the most is naturally the True Cream Aqua Balm. Now this is the product that really put them on the map for me. Ever since I tried this, I fell in love with the brand and I know a lot of people feel the same way about this. So this in particular is a lightweight gel cream that not only absorbs quickly into the skin, but provides a ton of moisture without feeling heavy or sticky. Hence why I think this is excellent for a lot of different skin types. I actually take this with me on shoots, or at least when I used to go to photo shoots, when I had to make sure my skin was looking top notch and this was my go-to moisturizer. I'm always excited when Belief reaches out and wants to work with me because it's such a genuine love that I have for their brand and their products. You can even go back on my channel and see when I was recommending and talking about their products before we even started working together. So it's been a long standing brand favorite of mine, one of my favorite skincare products of all time. And I know when I gift that to family or friends or anyone else uses it, they always text me and they're like, what was that I used and why does my skin love it so much? It's that good. Now again, using my empties as metric, the second most empties I had from a brand were easily from Amore Pacific. Now Amore Pacific, if you've never heard of them, they are definitely a premium Korean skincare brand. When I was first getting into Korean skincare, I coveted Amore Pacific. And anytime I went into any department store, I had to stop by their counter and just admire not only the beautiful packaging, but the beautiful formulas and the products they offered. And there's definitely a lot of brand history behind Amore Pacific. They are known for their green tea leaves that they use in their products. Their green tea leaves are like specially grown in the mineral soil of Jeju Island. They're specifically harvested during particular times of the year with the left hand. So there's a lot of tradition that goes into these products and you can definitely see why through the quality. Now besides that, they use a lot of red ginseng and bamboo, so other very traditional beauty ingredients that have been used in history in Korea. Now besides their beautiful brand history, I love that they do a lot of their R&D themselves and they do a lot of the manufacturing. So I love that all of that is kind of quality controlled in house. But if I were to recommend one product from Amore Pacific, I'd be recommending this, which is the Vintage Single Extract Essence. I've gone through <laughs> multiple bottles of this and my favorite way to put this on my skin because it is, like I said, a pricier product is to actually transfer it into a spray bottle. I've got some actually in here right now and I just spritz it ever so lightly on my skin. The green tea in this is beyond quality that you'd find in any other skincare company. So if you're looking for an antioxidant rich, anti-aging type of essence and you got a little bit of extra money to spend, 
I would definitely recommend this. Now they do offer these in different sizes in case you wanna try out like a smaller size first to see if it works well for your skin. But this is just one of those products I think I'll always have on hand. Now another brand that I've recommended a ton on my channel in 2020 is pretty much right behind Amore Pacific in the amount of the empties that I could find. And that is, with no surprise, Misha. Similar to Belief, you can go back on my channel and find me talking about Misha years ago. I mean, Misha is one of those brands I've really grown with and I just love not only their products, but they're good quality for an affordable price. And that's kind of what Misha is known for. They're known for having a lot of these great dupes for more high-end skincare and actually really effective skincare, but at a more affordable cost. Now the product that I recommend naturally is their essences. I recommend any essence from Misha. I think they're fantastic. The original one is the first treatment essence, which I've probably gone through like 10 to 15 of these guys throughout my skincare career. But they have a bunch of other different variations. Depending on your skin type, you can find one that'll work well for you. I pretty much loved every formula that I've tried. Like all the other brands that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video, I really never found a product from Misha that I don't like. So the fact that I can recommend them, that I'm comfortable recommending that price range because I know it's more accessible, I love it. Now, the last two brands are what I would consider more indie brands. So these are more smaller scale. They're newer to me specifically in the year 2020. The first of the two is Bonajour. Now, Bonajour is a cruelty-free skincare brand. And the idea behind Bonajour, born of nature and day. So skin newly born from nature every day. So the brand really sticks to that idea of like more natural ingredients, which I realize it's a very subjective term, but I have enjoyed a lot of the products that I've tried from Bonajour. For a new brand, I've actually tried a lot from them. Now you have to keep in mind, I'm constantly trying new products, new brands, different skincare products. So the fact that this is a new brand for me this year and I've tried this much out from them, I think that shows I've had a pretty good experience with them. So the product that I'd recommend from them is this guy here, which is the Bonajour Green Tea Water Balm toner. I absolutely love this toner. This goes on my skin immediately after I've cleansed my skin to really lock in any dampness that's still on my face. My skin definitely feels a lot more soft and plump whenever I use this. I would definitely recommend this if you're in the market for a new hydrating toner and I haven't seen a ton of people talk about this. So yeah, Bonajour is another brand and this product in particular that I've been loving. Last but not least, I've got this brand here, which is Isentree. Now Isentree, I've also tried a couple products from them. I've actually tried a couple more of their toners. They have a couple different versions. I've mentioned them in recent videos. I just must have recently misplaced them because I can't find the empties or the bottles of them. But Isentree is another brand that I've been loving. Again, it's a more affordable brand and they kind of go off the idea of, again, natural ingredients. So what really stands out to me from Isentree are their hyaluronic acid products. Now me being a dry skin gal, I always need hyaluronic acid. And in fact, I really feel like every other skin type needs hyaluronic acid. That's why you hear talked about so much is because it really draws the moisture from the air and locks it into your skin. So the product that I recommend from them is this guy here, the Hyaluronic Acid Water Essence. Now, despite this being called an essence, I would actually consider this more in the serum slash ampule realm. And I just recently talked about this in my Glossier dupes, which I'll link down below in case you guys want more information of what this is a good dupe from, from Glossier. But I like this because it has a hyaluronic acid and eight types of that. So you're getting the hyaluronic acid at different levels of your skin. Again, it's just one of those products that works really well for my skin. I've seen a lot of buzz and I'm pretty sure this is like one of their award-winning products and I can definitely see why. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to do a roundup of some of the Korean beauty skincare brands that I've been recommending the most, specifically in 2020. And I'm kind of toying around with the idea of doing this with Japanese skincare because I'm realizing I have found a lot of Japanese skincare favorites this year as well. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do a video on that. And I will also link all the products down below in case you want to check them out, specifically the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. Yeah, I just wanted to consolidate some recommendations I've been giving as well as share some universal products that I think would work well for a lot of different people that I would recommend to my family or my friends. This was definitely interesting to actually go through everything and see where the most empties were and watch some old videos and see what recommended products I was talking about. 
But as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.